When you buy local, you're getting birds from people that are in your local economy, so you're stimulating your local economy. So this is one of the ways that we try to make money on the homestead. How's it going? Along today to our farmers market now this is my most favorite one in Broken Arrow it's at the tractor supply and it's the third Saturday of every month and I think the fifth Saturday as well there is tons of people here today tons of customers which I didn't think there would be because we have a festival in Broken Arrow today it's called Rooster Day the crowds are out there's tons of kids walking around with bunnies and little chickies there's ducks there's peacocks there's jams jellies pickles there's so much fun stuff here today. I'm gonna to take you guys around. I'm gonna show you everything that's going on here. How's it going? Did you sell out while I was gone? Uh, not yet. Working on it. So it looks like you got a little chicks there, Mr. Shulin. Giving everybody water. Rotate. Yeah, water. Wawa. Everybody's got Wawa. It's getting warm out, huh? It is 1021. We have been here since right before 8. And we got a pretty good spot at the front. We've never been this far up before. We thought it might be better for customers what like, coming out of the store and walking up by us but um haven't sold any chicks that weren't already pre-ordered here um so people came here on purpose to pick them up because it was closer to their home but otherwise it's got a lot of customers it's a really beautiful day so this is one of the ways that we try to make money on the homestead and what we do now is we sell hatching eggs we sell day-old chicks and now Jeremy's just built me a grow up pen and we are going to be growing out chicks to about four to six weeks to see if they're girls or not and then we will have pullets for sale. So hopefully those sales will be a lot better here at the farmer's markets. If we had girls and everyone knew they were girls and they could take them straight home and put them outside and not have to worry about a heat source, I think that would sell better. Definitely, that's what people just don't want to deal with the, the heat lamp and all that stuff right now. So. Right, and keeping them inside. I mean, it's mid-May. It's getting pretty hot. It's going to be 90 degrees today. Yeah. Now, on the flip side of it, us as homesteaders having the hatchery and doing all this, we have chicks coming out of our ears. Like, we have so many chicks, you guys. I'm hatching about 180 a week. And I'm always three weeks behind or three weeks ahead if you want to look at it that way. I've got three incubators going at all times. Each one is completely full. As some are coming out, some are going in every single week. I'm trying to keep it nice and synced for the business. But right now, it's just we're, we're retaining like all the chicks pretty much the last two or three weeks. So yeah, chicken's coming out of my ears. <laughs> I 
think the biggest challenge for us, and this is not our first time doing eggs and selling chicks. We've done this for years. We just haven't done it on such a large scale. So space is always an issue. Having so many separated pens for all our special breeds, keeping them separated once they're hatched, coming to a show like this, keeping them separated so they don't get mixed together because some do look alike. This is my friend's little bull, and his name is Partner. He's so cute, you guys. Partner! I guess that grass is just a little bit more important than I am right now. So that's his buddy. They're adorable. Looking in the quilting. Really? I didn't bring no quilts or quilt runners, but table runner. So you do all the woodworking yourself? Yeah. I'm a widow, so I get out there in my garage and days I feel like doing that or live with my soul. A how to dry hatch. This is just is this the second time or third? Third time we hatched. Yeah. Look at his baby cow. Look at his baby cow. So the ultimate question that everyone asks is, can you make money hatching and selling chicks? What's your answer? I know you can. It's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. You know, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of messages, it's a lot of talking to people, it's a lot of questions. You know, you get 30 to 50 messages a day about it and maybe just one buyer, if you're lucky. Um, you come to farmer's markets like this, you might not sell one single chick, or you might sell out. I mean, you never just never know. know. But as soon as the big box stores start getting their spring chicks, it's kind of when all the sales for the locals stop. So if I could tell you anything, the most important thing to tell you is buy local. Buy local from people that love their birds and take good care of them. When you buy local, you're getting birds from people that are in your local economy, so you're stimulating your local economy. They're better taken care of, they're well loved. I know ours get the best of food and care. Big box stores buy them from hatcheries and they are perfectly okay birds. Hatchery birds are great, they're just not good quality. They focus on quantity so they can sell the most instead of quality. When you buy birds from someone like us, you are getting quality. And, and here's an example, my Crested Cream Light Bars, one of my hens and then the rooster over all the hens are showbirds. My Salmon Favorols are from showbirds. My black copper morans took me two years to find the dark eggs that I have. It took me time. I had to grow them out, hatch their eggs, all those good things. Um, the lavender americana, they're just standard that I have, but you can't find them anywhere. And now I've got the coronation sussex, which are very, very rare. So I'm very excited about that, and I don't know anybody else that has them around here. So those are things that you don't get when you buy from a hatchery. All right, we are gonna go visit my friend Cody and Alex. They are the Naughty Chicks. You can find them on Facebook. They're hand crocheted little animals and they're super cute. So let's go over here and say hi. Hi guys. Hello. Tell them about your business, the Naughty Chick. So we hand crochet goodies. We try to stick with like farm themed stuff. Really it's just for fun. <laughs> It's really for fun. Tell everybody if they wanted to get one of your special crocheted animals where they can find you. They can find us on Facebook at Naughty Chicks. All right, so what I'd like to ask you is something that we were just talking about is making money on the homestead, going to farmer's markets. 
Can you tell us what you love about it and what you also don't love about it? We love getting to meet new people and educate people and raising your own stuff. The struggle is definitely making a sell. Yes. Definitely. So one of the challenges I was talking about is buying local for better quality as far as your chicks go, better care, better knowledge of all the things that are sold at a farm swap. So you can't just get a hand crocheted animal anywhere. You can buy it on Amazon, it's gonna be from China. Yep. Yeah. And no one wants things from China. No, yeah, it's hand handmade. love and handmade. So you guys need to go out there and check them out. You also have chicks. Chicks. And you, have, you make mealworm farms. Worms. They're amazing, you guys. Let me show them to you. I just want to tell you, go out, buy local, shop local, support local. Go to your local animal swaps, and Tractor Supply seems to have a lot of them here in Oklahoma. Make sure that you're supporting local, because when you support local and shop local, you're helping families like us and like them. One more thing, you guys. So, Cody and Alex's farm is called Sutherland Farms. Look at these eggs here. You want to tell everybody what these are? Uh, these are Arcana yeah. eggs. So, they're a rare breed. The show quality breeds are rumpless and double tufted. But we have a partial tail to control the size. My wife, Alex, gets real into it. So we had to drive, I think it was 16 time. hours to go pick up these, uh, this breeding set. As far as we know, the only people in Oklahoma that has these birds so far. We're super excited about watching them grow and trying to perfect the breed. Are you guys gonna uh, sell them online? Are you gonna ever have an online website where people could buy them or possibly go on eBay? So we are working on getting uh, NPIP certified right now. Uh, we're supposed to have a tester come out when she gets back and hopefully everything goes good and we'll be able to start shipping across state lines so we're ready for it and when they do you guys i will certainly let you know how to get a hold of them and how you could order your own rare ericana eggs because so we are going to have our hand at these very rare ericana hatching eggs we're going to put them in the incubator and we're going to let you follow along watch them hatch they are going to be so beautiful, you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys did great today. And as soon as these chicks hatch, I'll be sending you some pictures. Well, we just left the swap and we're on our way home. Today's a big day. Preston's graduation's at 5. So we've got to unload the car, get dressed ready, and head over to TU and watch our baby graduate. So that's going to be fun. But how do you think our day went? Uh, it's so-so. Yeah? So, so. Better than last week. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely better than last week. We did not have one single sale last week. It was good seeing everyone that we know. It was good visiting with our friends. And my brother and my niece came at the end and visited with us. She got her own little chicken stuffy from Naughty Chicks. So she was really happy about that. She's trying to take mine. So Uncle Jeremy had to buy her her own. She's so cute. We hope you've enjoyed spending your Saturday morning with us, seeing what we do every single week and what leads up to the Saturday morning farmer's markets with all the chicks. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I want to urge you to participate in your local economy. Buy and shop local. It really helps your whole community out. And we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the little dingle bell. It'll alert you every single time that we upload new videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.